Hello, today we have Peter Rubenstein, Executive Chairman of Genetic Technologies, trading on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol GENE. -E. Peter, thanks for being with us. My pleasure. For those in our audience who may not be familiar with genetic technologies, Peter, please give us a brief introduction to the company and explain how your gene type platform is transforming the landscape of personalized medicine and disease prevention. Thank you. Um, genetic Technologies has been on the NASDAQ now for uh, almost 20 years. Uh, we're dual listed uh, with Australia and uh, the United States, um, and it's, it's been a, a wonderful journey. We were involved in the Human Genome Project back 19 years ago, and uh, our current uh, platform, our uh, genetic risk assessment tests, cover nine different serious diseases, and uh, they're the top six cancers, type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular. And it's a simple uh, cheek swab that uh, we, we process in our uh, laboratory in Houston, uh, which we've outsourced all our lab work to. It's a high throughput lab that can do 100,000 tests per month. So um, what we do is to, to cover uh, both your genetics and your clinical risk. Uh, that's your, your uh, medical history all in one test and that uh, allows you to determine your risk of developing these common complex diseases, which account for about 70% of all diseases. The global launch of gene type on that easy DNA platform, it marks a significant milestone for genetic technologies, Peter. Can you explain how this launch is set to drive revenue growth and enhance profitability for the company? Yes, thank you. We have a, uh, a platform, which is the easy DNA platform, uh, which is uh, cutting across 40 countries. It sells uh, health and wellness products, paternity testing, uh, and uh, similar uh, disease-related genetic tests. And what we've done now is to provide our gene type platform, uh, making it available on this wholly owned uh, easy DNA platform. So it allows us to increase our um, gross margin to about 70% because it's an in-house developed product being sold on an in-house owned platform. And um, now that the market has, I guess, become more readily accepting of our types of tests, we think it's time to provide a consumer initiated test, which allows the individual to order the test and then bring their doctor in as part of the process, or we do that via telehealth. Now, Peter, Genetic Technologies is transitioning to a capital light operating model that is expected to reduce cash burn and move the company towards profitability by the end of 2025. Tell us more about this exciting strategy. So what, what we've been able to do is uh, previously we've had our laboratory activities in Australia. Um, we would get a sample from the United States. It would be sent back to our clear and NADA accredited lab. And we would then, it, using the cloud, send the results back to the practitioner. We could do about 2,000 tests per month in our lab in Australia. We've now outsourced our laboratory activities to a lab in Houston uh, through the Gene by Gene group. And that is a high throughput lab that allows 100,000 tests to be processed each month. So that's a big reduction in cost. The second area is we're working with B2B groups for distribution of our products. Uh, rather than doing it all in-house with our own dedicated sales force. And we have some very advanced uh, activities going on with those B2B groups with massive um, market interest. And thirdly is we've um, got processes in place that allow us to scale up that um, activity with groups like DNA Nexus, um, where all of the uh, activities are done in the cloud the integration with the consumer and with the doctor and the access of the, the patient data all has to be very secure, but very uh, process driven. So um, those three elements, including our outsourcing of our R&D activities, we've been involved in R&D over the last 10 years, and we've developed some very strong relationships with groups like Harvard uh, Medical School and University of Melbourne and other you know, leading eminent institutions, we're now going to be working with them to commercialize the output of their activities where we are the commercial frontliner. Now, Peter, payer coverage in the U.S. will likely be a key driver of revenues. 
Could you elaborate on the current engagements with major U.S. payers such as Humana and Aetna and how these partnerships are expected to scale adoption of gene type tests? Yes, uh, getting, getting reimbursement is a, is a big factor. And at the moment, the tests are not reimbursed. Uh, the out-of-pocket cost is about 350 US dollars, uh, which is very cheap for what we're providing. Um, there is a massive uh, sector of the functional medicine, preventative health, those sorts of activities. Um, we are in discussions with payers, and it is a, as people will be aware, a lengthy process. We have a market cap of 4 million US dollars. Once we get reimbursement, uh, that figure will uh, will be a multiple of that. So uh, it is it is a challenge initially, uh, but we are getting people and practitioners who support our test now. And given the, the low cost, there is a very big market segment that is prepared to pay $350 to potentially, you know, change their destiny. Your partnerships with leading telehealth and healthcare providers, including Stay Healthy and Gene by Gene, are integral to your U.S. expansion. How do these partnerships enhance your ability to scale and deliver risk assessment tools more effectively? So, you know, groups like Gene by Gene, they are a high throughput lab. Their whole core business is being the picks and shovels for groups like ours. And, uh, you know, if we if we do a uh, thousand tests per month, we'll be in their top 20 customers. But it's really about um, developing the ability to scale and to have those processes in place that are tier one, that are credible, HIPAA compliant, you know, with all the um, elements that are required to maintain our CLIA and NATA regulatory approvals. Um, so we're, we're setting ourselves up to be a tier one player for the United States market. Anyone above the age of 30 is our target and it will get very dramatic and, and the volumes will be significant. Now, in summary, Peter, what is the essential value proposition? Why should investors take an interest in genetic technologies today? Genetics is now part of the fabric of society. Uh, as I mentioned, 19 years ago, the Human Genome Project started, cost a billion dollars to sequence um, the whole genome. It's now under $1,000. Our test is starting to resonate with the community around well, you know, I look like my father, but um, what about on the inside, you know, and it's on the inside that we're looking at. So what is the cause of disease? Is it nature or is it nurture? We cover both in our test. One simple saliva based test tells you your risk of 70 percent of all causes of mortality and morbidity before onset. And it's it's a very dramatic opportunity to take charge of your own health, to work with your practitioner and to to stay healthy. That's really what it's about. Catching disease early is really an important part of moving forwards. We save costs for the health system and we save lives. An opportunity to take control of your own health. That sounds really strong, Peter. Thank you for sharing your story with us today. My pleasure. And uh, to everybody, please stay healthy and uh, look forward to uh, sharing more updates in the future.